routine save for Katakoi in the end. Into uh, the second half, and Spain brought on Selva Parayulo, and she really changed the game for Spain. She did. She was a central, direct threat. She, Illestad and Eriksson had to do a lot more work defensively. And there we go. The opening goal, which arrived in the 81st minute. She is now one game away, incidentally, Parayulo, from being at the same time a world champion in the under-17s and the under-20s and the senior team, if they win the final. But back came Sweden, Lena Hurting's header, Rebecca Blomqvist's finish. I mean, it's really terrible. Poor marking from Spain, but that's a big pressure moment from Blomqvist, and she executed it excellently just when her team needed to. But Spain immediately went down the other end, and Sweden just fell to sleep from the corner. Well, we spoke so much about Sweden and their threat from set pieces. We didn't really mention Spain, but actually to win the game on, on a set piece, you know, is quite ironic. And that crossbar has uh, had quite a big hand in proceedings here at Eden Park over the last few days. It helped out Zatira Musovic against Japan, but not so tonight when the rebound fell in favour of Olga Carmona. So tears of joy for Spain, tears of disappointment for Sweden, who fail yet again at the semi-final stage. Spain through to a first ever Women's World Cup final.